Well, we're only four episodes into the new season of The Real Housewives of New York City, so the fun has only just begun, and so is the drama, as it looks like there's a feud brewing between Aaron and Jessel. Take a look. Did Jessel say anything about me? Tell me. You could tell me. Am I going to say anything to her? She made a mention we were sitting at, at Susie Condi's shopping. Oh, she said, I just got carried away and I felt like the cackling hags were ganging up on me. Cackling <laughs> hags? I don't know where she got that. What did you have? No, no. I can hear the cackling close she can. We didn't yell at her. We were just like, say sorry. It's not nice. You have children. You yeah. know what it's like. If you feel... <laughs> so you're comparing her to a child. No. Oh, boy. <laughs> Aaron is with me now. Welcome. Good to see you. Good to see you. Okay. <laughs> so let's, uh, so uh, this whole Jessel drama, it really started from the whole lingerie drama at your house in the Hamptons over the weekend. I mean, do you think that she could have handled that better? I think there's a way of saying you don't like something yeah. without hurting someone's feelings. I don't think she did it on purpose. I don't think she realized what she was saying. Yeah. But the way it was landing for us was kind of offensive, you know, to yeah. the designer and to, to Jenna. Yeah, I think so too. I felt bad for Jenna because she was giving her a gift. She was and, so, and she was mortified because she's yeah. friends with the designer. So it was like, I mean, if, I, and I said this before, but you know, those pajamas were from my dear friend Morgan Lane. And if yeah. everyone was like, oh, these pajamas are awful. Like they don't fit me well. I would be really upset. Yes, so absolutely. That's why I empathized with Jenna in that moment. Yeah, and Jenna thinks that maybe Jessel is trying too hard. Do you agree with her? I actually don't think she was trying too hard in that moment. No, I don't either. <laughs> I think she was being very honest with how she felt, so I don't know. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, I was just saying to you, she's been here. She was a lovely person. She's the sweetest. It's hard, sweetest I think, girl. when you're in a group of girls, too, and there's different situations and people handle things differently. But yeah. um, you talk a lot about being a true New Yorker. Like, for you, what, what, what does it mean to be a true New Yorker? Like, crying on the subway? Is it like uh, getting a, a dollar slice of pizza? Absolutely. Like, being here for seven years? 99 cent pizza yeah. is the best. It is the best. I grew up eating dollar slice pizza. Yeah. Um, I think being a New Yorker is being able to assimilate and understand different cultures and sort of be thrown into things and be fine. Yeah. You know, that's just like we, we grow up quickly and we grow up with a lot. Yeah. So it's just it's just a different thing. You know, you're less critical because you can just jive with kind of any vibe. Yeah. Okay. I like that. Yeah. So it's not about a time frame. It's just about like, are you, you know, it's like in the Hamptons when Jenna was like, how do you feel about this week? And I was like, I feel fine. And even though they complained the whole time, I still feel okay because it's, I know who I am. Like, yeah. I know I, I, you know, it's like, there's like sort of this confidence when you grow up in the city. Yes. Do you know what I mean? I do. And, yeah. and also I think you get to a certain point in your life, like, this is not going to bother me. Like, I have yeah, way more like, important things okay. to worry about. Like, I know I fed you. I tried my best. Okay. I know. And then everybody was complaining about that, too. And I was like, ay, ay, ay. But there's one, there's one moment, too, like in the beginning where there's you make a reservation at a restaurant. A few girls don't go. They go someplace else. It causes this drama. Nobody talks about the restaurant because it's all bleeped out. Did you have any idea that it was going to be such a thing? And there's like an investigation about which restaurant it was. <laughs> Um, no, I didn't. And I also didn't think that I would get annihilated for a reservation that I was doing on the fly for a bunch of girls. Yeah. Like, I was just trying to help. Um, and since when is a restaurant that's not currently trendy not good food anymore? Exactly. And, and that's, that's, I think, a true New Yorker doesn't care where they're yeah, going. It's that's like, right. if the food's good and you're with your friends, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, I totally agree. I don't need to go to the trendy spots all the time. I don't either at all. But uh, you and I Brit prefer not. I right? prefer not to because yeah. I don't want to be overcrowded. But you and Brynn have also kind of butt heads a little bit. Um, what was Certainly. your read on her when you first met her? I thought she was great. When yeah. I first met her, I thought she was, my first interaction was, we're going to be friends. Like, she's fun. I, like, we laugh a lot together. So I thought we were going to be great. But then, you know, things come out and behavior sort of changes your opinion. Yes. <laughs> I mean, I still love her, but, you know, it's kind of like this sisterly love-hate yeah. situation I mean, we have going on. we're getting to know each other, too, during yeah. this process. So it's like under a microscope, and that's not always the easiest yeah. thing. Well, you can catch The Real Housewives of New York City Sundays at 9 p.m. on Bravo and streaming the next day on Peacock. Aaron, nice to see you. Thanks so, nice so much. Thank you.